guys, so this is legit. I'm over here uh, on the Discord this morning and seeing uh, some updates that are really, really huge. Um, so first of all, you guys know they fixed the crash on iOS. They did that earlier this week. Um, as of basically what's 12, a little after 12 o'clock a.m., uh, my time in Central, um, CCG said, Jonathan said, there's a new round of bans for last week. Around 350 players that have used hacks or mods have been removed from the game. Uh, have a nice day, everyone. So um, so that's huge. I mean, we've been asking for them to crack down on hackers, modders, and it seems like it's not something they did a one-time, we're going to fix this and move on, but they're actually consistently watching that, looking out for new exploits. Matter of fact, I was talking to Jonathan in a separate chat, and he told me that um, they have a script that they run and additionally an OP team that goes and watches um, every day on the game for new hacks, new mods, new exploits, and they're actively banning those things. So that's a huge deal. The most exciting thing, though, came across Discord at 5.39 a.m. our time, and it's a flash maintenance with a new hero added. Y'all, I'm so pumped about this. First of all, there's a new hero named Titan that will be added to the pool. Um, I am going to go over him in just a minute. I've seen uh, a translation from the, uh, the uh, international servers where um, I, I think I'm able to give a little bit of understanding about him, so stay tuned for that. But listen, the drop rates of Colossus and Leviathan Catacombs level 11 and 12 will be increased. They're listening. They are listening, and they are active, and they care. Guys, this makes me so excited to know that this is something that since they updated the last patch, people have been saying, man, I just wish the drop rates were better. They didn't have to do this, but they came back in, fixed the drop rates, and I am stoked for that. They're going to perform a short server maintenance um, tomorrow, which uh, I'm not sure what tomorrow means there, if it's tomorrow our time or if it's... Uh, you know, tomorrow for them, which would be, you know, sometime later today. But um, you'll receive an in-game notice in the game connection screen, noticing you, uh, letting you know about the time of maintenance. Um, and so uh, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. I cannot believe that they're adding this. I'm super stoked for it. Um, and, uh, and so there you go. That is going to be a part of the game, which is absolutely awesome. All right, here's what I can tell you about Titan. Titan is a light and dark defense type unit. Um, he is crazy. He's like on fire. He's got a sweet looking sword. Um, and basically what I can tell from his attacks is that his skill one attack is an, is an AoE attack. It attacks everyone and it has a chance to taunt. His skill 2 attack, uh, he has one that attacks all two times, or um, he has an attack that attacks and gives a defense buff to him. His skill 3 attacks, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about. So his first skill 3 is a passive that reduces his defense to 0, and for each point of defense, increases his health by 20. It inflicts 6% of his max HP as damage, and has a chance to reflect 20% damage and recover 80% of the damage received. So basically, he increases his health, decreases his defense, but when he's attacked, he reflects some of that, gets his health back, so basically just makes him a juggernaut. Um, his, his second S3 passive is that while alive, 70% chance to restore uh, or to share damage taken by other teammates, more damage to the allies with higher HP, um, and less to those with lower HP. So kind of a shared damage um, uh, passive there, which is really great. Uh, we don't have that really in an LND um, Nat 5, so that's awesome. His S3 is, uh, his third S3 is an active S3. It's a skill um, where he attacks all enemies with 250% of attack as damage, taunts for one turn, and has an 80% chance to reflect 20% of damage on enemies. So basically, this dude is a defense-based AoE tank that does taunt on most of his abilities 
and can also share damage. I mean, that is going to be huge for a lot of the game modes. I mean, just think about being able to bring him in instead of Dragoon or um, something like that where you're able to, to auto-taunt bosses and keep that taunt up, um, but be able to taunt basically everyone. And if you stack, uh, you know, I would honestly think that, that you would want to stack um, HP, but also defense on him. And um, so, man... Uh, because of that because of that passive but um what an incredible character i'm super pumped that he's going to be uh, added into the pool and it's not like we got to wait for him he's coming today or tomorrow whenever this update goes through so i am super stoked i'm thankful so thankful because this is another example of the devs listening to feedback i also heard someone say something about server merge uh coming at the end of may now i haven't seen that personally but it could be just because i've not seen it on discord i've missed it or something like that um but it, it it seems to me like the devs here are listening to us are responding and making adjustments because they really care about the game uh going in the direction that it should and so i'm super encouraged by that it makes me want to play even more and uh so man let me know what you guys think let me know what you think about this new hero and i really look forward to seeing you guys in the game i'll talk to you soon Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos.